constitution that gave you right to carry gun to make people to go and be arresting people is the same constitution that gave us that right to invite anybody. And even if it means today if a policeman in Lagos slap a civilian, we have every right to call the ID and tell, make us to explain to us what, why is the, what is the reason behind a policeman slapping somebody. We are talking about crisis that is happening in this country. Every day there are killings. Some killings are not even reported in this, uh, uh, in this chamber. Some killings are not even reported. Today, and who are the main uh, uh, organizations that are supposed to safeguard lives and property is the police. The army is just complementing the efforts of the police. And today, what we are mentioning everywhere is army, army, army. Today, we should be able to know what is even the strength of the police, what is even the capacity, what is even the kind of training they're having. And if the leader of the police cannot hold this, that means it's not competent to hold that office. He has no respect for this institution. That is now a fact. There's absolutely no way we can dress it. There's absolutely no way we can say, let us give him some more time. There's absolutely no way we can say that what he is doing is anything but an abuse of this institution of the Federation of Nigeria, of himself, even in the eyes of the international community. The Senate, in a closed session, deliberated on the non appearance of the IGP. The Senate noted that this, in our view, is a gross disrespect to the institution and constituted authority. The Senate also noted that his earlier refusal to appear before investigative committee was overruled by competent court of jurisdiction just in April of this year. And Senate therefore viewed this persistent refusal as a great danger to our democracy. Therefore, the Senate resolved to declare the IGP as an enemy of democracy and not fit to hold any public office within and outside Nigeria. The leadership of the Senate was also mandated to look into the matter for further necessary action. Distinguished colleagues, is this a true reflection of what transpired in the closed session? Yeah.